Hey everyone, I'm Angela and welcome to Silver Linings and to this special edition of Sunday Spa dedicated to the care of our natural gray hair. Let me ask you a question. Where are you in the world right now and what temperature is it? Well, I'm in New York and it's mid-February and it's already hitting 60 degrees in New York. Unbelievable. Thankful for the warm days, but it doesn't make for great recording. So if you follow me, you notice that my background is different. My set, quote, quote, is different as I am moving down to the lowest level of my home where I can record in comfort. Okay, so my second question to you is, what can you do when it's steaming hot where you are and you want to do your hair, but you don't want to pull out your hot tools, but you'd like to have a little bit of a wave and some fullness, something a little special. Well, I'm going to share with you a video that I found today and a product that I found that I absolutely love. And if you've got hair, <laughs> if you've got hair, I think you might like this product. So join me as we visit with the beautiful Erica Henry Johnson and the very talented Brad Mundo. Now, I had never heard of Brad Mundo before. That's not unusual for me. But I have heard of Erica Johnston. Now, Erica, I don't know where what happened to Erica. She hasn't uh, she hasn't been on YouTube for a while. But I still follow her. I still refer back to her videos because, she, as you can see, she's just got beautiful, beautiful silver, gray, white hair. And Erica, if you're watching this, hi. I hope everything is okay. I hope you and your family are safe. And I'm going to share just a little bit of Erica's video. What? And Erica was sharing Brad's video, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's join Brad and Erica Johnson as they show us how to get fullness and even a wave in hair without using a heat tool. The two products that we're going to talk about today are this product right here called Exmundo. And then Erica also uses a texturizing spray, which I did not have, but I had something similar. It's, it, it's basically a sea salt spray that she's using. And I had a, have a little bit left of this wonderful product that I use. You can't find it anymore, but it's called, it's by OGX called Sea Mineral Moisture. Oh, if I had known that this product was going to be discontinued, I probably would have bought 20 bottles of it. It's that good, and the smell is amazing. So I'm sorry, but you can't buy it anymore. Every once in a while, I'll go over to Amazon and see if it's back in stock, but it never is. So you're going to use Exmundo, and you're going to use any kind of a sea salt texturizing spray that you have. She does mention one here, um, so you could pick that up. I, I probably will pick that one up when this one is all done. So let's join them and let's learn how to do this. And you're, you're starting, of course, with squeaky clean hair. Now my hair is clean. Um, it's, it's, it's almost, it's very, it's damp, but the top of it has already dried, as you can see. And Erica's hair and my hair are very very different as you can see Erica's hair is well she's probably got three times more hair than I do and I'm a little bit further down the road than Erica I'm probably 20 years older than her maybe more and so my hair used to look like hers in terms of the color but over the years so more white and more white and more white but I don't plan to cut it and I want to have some waves and I don't want to take out the heat tool so let's join them now and see how Brad instructs Erica to use this product. Very different product. Here we go. Especially not when you're doing a natural hairstyle like this. Everybody has a tiny bit of a wave pattern. I would comb out your hair very gently, not with this, but with a wide tooth comb. Maybe even wider than this would be better for you, but just comb it out. Get those Okay, so I do have a wide tooth comb here, and before I comb out my hair, I'm going to spritz it again and get it all, not soaking wet, but open up the shaft again so that it can accept some product 
I'm not going to be doing the, the tops or the very sides of my hair. Um, basically, it looks like this product just gets distributed through the length of the hair. And so that's where I'll be putting it. those knots out not stressing the hair too much not putting too much effort into the comb just making it look nice in the top less is more with natural hairstyling we're gonna call this first method the scrunch method oh my god that's groundbreaking brad i've never scrunched my hair before shut up even if you scrunch your hair before you probably aren't doing it correctly for this first method we are using wave tech we are also using salty i always apply wave tech with a comb it's just so much easier this way you don't get on your hands wave tech is a very airy foam I now that wave tech that he's talking about is this by x mundo and and this is it you could see the word wave tech on the very bottom of the container so this is it and i'm just going to finish combing out my hair and then we'll apply it so divine japanese cherry blossom bergamot white butterfly jasmine it is the most delicious smell ever what i'm doing is just combing this through the top of her hair i'm also going to just section off a little bit underneath here and make sure the product is distributed underneath her hair as well as on top to get a little bit more i'm gonna just do like four pumps and honestly it's gonna look like you just shampooed your hair and didn't wash it out that's when you know you used enough of this you know don't be shy to use a ton of this product do you hear this that's when you know you put enough wave tech in. And we're going to do the same. Now, it probably won't use as much because my hair is not as thick as Erica's. But I, I hear what he's saying, and he wants you to get it in there so that the hair is saturated. So that the hair almost looks dirty. And, and actually, really, that's what you're doing. You're dirtying up, you're dirtying up your hair. So I'm going underneath, and I can feel it in there. It feels kind of sticky. I can hear it when I scrunch it, and he's going to show us how to scrunch in a minute. So I'll, I'll leave that part for him. It feels like it needs a little bit more on this side. You can feel it. You can... You can feel when, when you've got enough in there because it feels a little gummy, but it's not gonna feel gummy when it dries and it's not going to feel dirty. It's just going to have a really nice wave. So I wanna get some more down there. Same thing all around her head, just going on the underneath, beautiful application. All the product is raked through the hair. This will work for people with 4C very curly hair. Now I wouldn't necessarily comb it all through like I just did. You can actually just do it with your hands and just get it through your hair. You do not have to comb it through. I like to work in four quadrants. So that's from ear to ear and down the middle of the back. Pick up her hair and scrunch it. We're getting wave already. You see that? We're just being gentle with it though. You'll get better waves with less frizz if you're more gentle with it. So we're gonna go all the way to the ends with that same technique and just adding texture. There's no frizz at the top and if there is, please get it down before it air dries because that will not be cute. Again, wave tech is going to give you very, very light hold, but it's going to define your waves. I know that's kind of a weird mixture, like it doesn't have hold, but it also defines. But once you use it, you'll understand. If your hair isn't sort of turning out like this, you can go in and take pieces, wrap them around your finger, take it off your finger like this, and Where drop it down. See how defined that wave is now? That will work on a pin straight hair. So easy, so chill. Sometimes I like to combine both of those techniques where I scrunch it, then maybe in the front, I will give her some nice defined waves, or I won't do this at all. I'll just scrunch the whole thing. Now, I like what he said about it being, that it works on straight hair, and my hair is pin straight. Pin straight. I'm gonna make sure I get some on that front piece. And I'm going to do that with my fingers. 
And then what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to go around the house. I'm just going to let it dry naturally, you know, do some, do some chores. This one is really saturated. I'm just going to do some chores and uh, then I'll come back and finish the recording. Uh, I'll be in the lower part of my house. So you'll, everything will look different, but I'll, I'll show you when it's finished. And then you can see what you think. But I just think it's nice to have to have a little bit of wave. So I feel like I've got enough in there now. And so now I'm just going to do the scrunch. He wants you to come up from the bottom. Bye, bye, bye Brad. Bye, Erica. I'll link Erica's video below so you can see how her hair turned out. It turned out beautifully. Okay. Now, I'm not beating it up. I'm just coming up from the bottom of the shaft and just gently squeezing, gently squeezing, gently squeezing. And I feel like I need a little bit more back here. You can always add more. Just kind of feel it and, and see what you think. And it's taking a lot longer than it normally would because, you know, I'm talking and watching and... So wherever you feel like you need more, just put it on your hands and then get it in there and then you can you can hear it scrunch. It sounds like when you walk on ice and the ice is kind of scrunches a little bit, but it's not supposed to feel crunchy, hard crunchy when it's when it's finished. And a little bit a little bit more on that side. Honestly, I like doing it with my fingers. I'm not crazy about doing it with the comb, but I figured I might as well do it the way he's doing it because he's the teacher. Okay. I think the left side is going to turn out better because it's got more product in it. All right. Now we're going to take the texturizing spray. Oh, this smells so good. I wish they would make it some more. Okay, so now I'm done with the texturizing of the sea salt, so try not to bother those. Now remember, my hair is being straight. It has no wave, no wave whatsoever. So we don't know how much wave we're going to get, but I'm looking for that fullness. I'm looking for something a little bit special, more special than I normally have. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clip, and later on in the video he talks about when you're done with the scrunching, uh, to take some hair clips. And I, I purchased these clips, someone was reviewing them on, on a video, and on... They don't leave a mark on your hair, so I'm going to use those. I think four of them will be enough. They come in all kinds of colors. I have blue, I have pink, I have yellow, I have white, I have black. I'll link them below. But they don't leave a mark. They don't leave a mark on your hair, which I think is terrific. Okay, so I'm just going to take this piece right up here and get that out of my face. So that I can go about my business. Same thing with this. Again, it's not going to leave a mark. And then I'll just take these sides. See, I can already see a wave and my hair does not wave. And when it's done, if I feel like I, I didn't get enough weight, I'll just re-wet I'll just re-wet it and put some more product in it, but and then let it dry. But I think you have to kind of just get a little acquainted with it so you know how much to use. Okay, so now we're gonna let it dry and I'll be back in a couple of hours with the end of the video and show you the result. See you later. Okay, so it's a few hours later and I am going to take these little clips out. You can see that there is some wave. Remember I said 
my hair is pin straight. And these waves will probably, it's still a little damp under there, these waves will probably not last until tomorrow. I'll probably sleep them off. But there it is. There, there it is. And if I combed it, now this piece right here is not quite, it was stuck under one of the uh, clips. But you can see it's got some texture. It's not stick straight. I did not put any mousse in it. The only thing that I used, that's the only thing I used. Oh yes, and then I had that sea salt spray that I used from OGX. As I mentioned, this is discontinued, unfortunately. But pick up any sea salt spray you have that you can find. I'll link the one below that they talked about in that Brad Mondo talked about in his video. So I'm happy. It feels full. It's like I said, it's not stick straight, and I didn't really put a ton of product in it. So I want to see what'll happen if I comb out that one piece right there. I'm not liking how that's looking. Put my glasses on. I'm not liking how that's looking. I'm gonna have to put my glasses on because I can't see. I thought that I was gonna finish this video in my in the new studio that I set up downstairs, but just found out we're having company. <laughs> that's not gonna happen tonight. So I wanted to get this out for Sunday spa. So This will be a very raw video, but at least you'll get an idea. Well, I'm happy with it. Truly, I am. I heard someone, someone told me a trick years ago, and it works. If you want to get a little volume in your hair, just spray your comb. Let me see if you can see it against the gray. Just spray the comb, and while it's still a little bit wet, don't let it totally dry. Just go right into the root and pick up the root. Pick up the root, and you could even, if you wanted to pick that root up totally, of course you could tease that spot right there, but you can just, like that, and just get a little bit of just get a little bit of volume under there if that's what you want. But this look is really just a going out, hanging around the house, maybe going out for a quick dinner with some friends. Just really chill and cash, as the kids say. <laughs> I have not combed out the waves, but you can see that there are waves. And again, I didn't really even use as much as he said to use. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you have hair? Do you like to do things to your hair? Do you like to let it dry naturally? Do you like it when I do videos about hair? Does that serve you well? Let me know what you think. I really would like to know. All right, now I have got to go. Company is coming. They'll be here. They should have been here five minutes ago. So <laughs> I'm so glad to have you with me today. If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Happy Sunday, everybody. I just wanted to mention really quickly that I could see as I was editing this video, I really could have used a lot more of the Wave Tech product and my hair was not wet enough. So if you're doing this, make sure that that hair is very wet and use lots of product.